Welcome back everyone, this is Super Star Brother playing The Legend of Zelda Spirit Tracks. We have talked to uh, Linebeck the Third. Uh, we've had the bridge worker come along and fix the bridge for us. Thank you Mr. Bridge Worker, except that he wanted to charge us 5,000 rupees for it. And what would you expect from a Linebeck but to uh, dump the bill on us? Fortunately we managed to pull together enough rupees to pay him off. That is, by finding a regal ring that Lenebeck the first left behind. So, now that we've done that... There we go. It's not perfect, but it's strong enough to cross on. Thanks. Might be a little shaky in spots, though, so you might, uh, want to cross quickly. Oh, gee, you're reassuring. That's so reassuring. Oh, don't look so spooked. It's fine, I tell you. It'll get you to the other side. Yeah, but will it get... Let me get a, get back. Well, I leave my last will and testament to, uh, let's see, who do I got? Nico? Nico's gonna die anyways. And what about old Alfonso? I don't really want to leave anything to him. Anyways. Phew, yeah, it was no, no easy, easy task, task, but we finally, finally opened a path, path to the ocean realm. Are you ready, ready to head, head out, out there, Link? Sure. Uh, on a rickety bridge. Let's be on our way then. then. Oh, Lord! Next stop, the ocean realm. Across a rickety bridge. Ladies and gentlemen, fasten your seatbelts. And please be sure you have signed that waiver that was handed to you beforehand as we carefully make our way across this uh, questionable bridge. Well, looks like we're going to survive. Okay, everybody celebrate. Thank you for riding Spirit Express. Alright, now we are in the ocean realm. Let's see now. There should be like... Oh, yes, there's a little town up ahead. A little station. Train station, okay. Right there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I just went straight. Uh... Oh, I am good. Welcome to Papuchia Village. Isn't this where Ferris said he was heading? So you've been to Papuchia Village, but never to a boat of village. You, you hurt my feelings. Want to go, go swimming? swimming? Do I ever? Well, well I can't I exactly, exactly do that in my current state. state. Sure you could. But when, when I, I get, get my, my body, body back, back, we should definitely, definitely come, come back, back here to swim. swim. Definitely. Anyway, anyway let's, let's get going. going. All right then. No mail today. Shame. All right, let's go meet the uh, locals here. Howdy. Welcome to Papuchia, a village at sea. Our village leader is a clairvoyant who can see into the future. Really? We call her the wise one. Well, what else would you call her? Let's see. Pick up that boulder, toss that, toss that boulder. All right, let's go, let's go meet this wise one. Oh, wise one. But first, I'm going to come over here and see if there's anything worth of interest. Hmm. Thanks to the wise one, it's been a bumper crop year for fish. Really? We owe it all to her. Hmm. How's that? What would you like to read about? Hmm, nothing. I'm thinking the battles and the prizes are actually done online, but... I'm not in a position to do that. Oh, welcome! It's not often we see young uns around these parts. What do you mean, it's not often? What do you have here? This is my shop, so don't hold back on the buying. <laughs> if there's something you want, go ahead and tap it. Let's see, there's a yellow potion. This probably restores all hearts. Drink the yellow potion to restore all your hearts. It costs 200 rupees. Nah. 
If there's something you want, go ahead and tap it. Let's see, the purple root potion costs 150 rupees. It refills eight hearts when you fall. Nah. If there's something you want, go ahead and tap it. Those prize postcards are 100 rupees. Mail them out and you can win big. Hmm, I don't know if I want to. Come back soon. Alright then, we'll see ya. I need to save all my rupees for other things like train parts. Actually, that's for... We get train parts with the uh, treasures. And treasures are... Ow! Bother. Yeah, bring it over here. Hmm. There was nothing in it. Weird. Well, let's uh, see who's in here. Pirates often show up in the water surrounding this village. Pirates? In fact, all the local men have been kidnapped. Really? They're efficient, aren't they? Including that one guy. What one guy? Alright then, let's see if we can find that old woman, that old wise one, that, uh... That, uh, woman with a fish over. I believe this is the one. So pleased that you could make it. Of course, the stars foretold your arrival, Link. How do I know your name, you ask? You're clairvoyant. <laughs> the stars foretold that as well. That I'd be utterly bamboozled? I know everything you see. Even things that have yet to happen. I sense your heart is heavy with a deep concern. Well, there's a princess who needs a body, so yeah, I suppose you could say that. Is that so? It's true. I thought so. Well, you want me to tell your fortune? Sure, what you got? I'm going to ask you some questions, so answer them with a strong, clear voice. Are you a boy or a girl? I'm a He-Man woman hater. Of course, I already knew that. <laughs> sure you did. What's your eye color? Hazel. Ah, uh, yes. Just like my mother. You say that to everyone. And finally, what is your astrological sign? Capricorn. Or it could be Cancer. Ah, yes. The sign of an ingenious inventor. Really? I have not invented anything unless you count those... pre-mixed oats. Now listen. To the message of the stars. In another land, a man goes through life with an empty heart. He looks for love, but only a prophet can help him. Such as yourself? What you need for today is courage. Okay, that was, uh deep. Okay! After getting a uh, fortune told by What's-Her-Face, old wise one, let's see if we can uh, find out anything else. It Ow! Not in the ocean! Ah, Link, you can't swim! What's here? Ooh, hello. I thought there were no children on this island, and wow, that's a big smile you've got. Okay. If you were to describe me in one word, would it be cute or plain? Um. <laughs> you would say something like that. Yes. The wise one told me my future. She told me mine too, except uh, I don't know. She said I'm going to be a movie star. What the heck is a movie star? I'm glad I won't just be an extra. <laughs> movie star. Movie star! Anyway. 
Methinks this woman's kind of a uh, bananas. Anyways, now what do we need to do? I think we need to find somebody named Carbon. And how are we going to find Carbon? Hmm. Nobody here can tell us where Carbon is. And I think... I don't know if that old woman will tell us where Carbon is either. Hang on a minute. There's some islands over there that I missed. Maybe we can find something over there. Let's see, yep, there are some islands over here that we missed. Ooh, we didn't find anybody, we found treasure! It's a bee larva! Check it on the collection screen. Sure, they're gross to look at, but they're precious just the same. Gross bee larva. Blech. Let's see, who do we have? We already talked to the woman in there, I believe. We No, it was a kid. That's what it was. I don't think the old woman will tell us anything about carbon. You know anything about carbon? I'm sensing that you want to hear your fortune. No way. I see. I hope Miss Fortune doesn't await you. Yeah, yeah. Say that to make me want to get my fortune told. Way to market it. Way to market it. Anyway, let's see. Now, maybe we should just go and try to find carbon ourselves. Shall we? Looks, Looks like, like Carbon's not out here. here. Let's go find him. him. Right. That's what I was going for. Okay, okay let's, let's go. go. We can find carbon somewhere over this direction, where the tracks end. Full steam ahead! And you know something? I think that was more of a battleship cry. Hey, it's a dolphin! By blowing the whistle, we can make them jump. And do it enough times, they'll eventually give us a heart. Which is actually kind of useful if we happen to be attacked by pirates. Which does happen. Now where'd that jelly blob go? There you are. Dolphins! Jelly blobs and stuff like that. Probably want to slow down a bit. We're approaching a station. Oh, there he goes. What do you know? We made it to the ocean sh sanctuary. It wasn't that hard. Hey, we, we were at the, the ocean, ocean sanctuary. sanctuary. I wonder, I wonder what, what, what Carbon, Carbon is like. like. Well, he's probably very cheerful and uh, kind of weird. And I wonder, I wonder if he'll be like on wheels like, like the other Come on, Come on let's, let's go, go meet him. him. I'm assuming that he will be on wheels. As a matter of fact, how much you want to bet he's going to be on wheels? I'll say 50 rupees. All the other look almost have been on wheels, why shouldn't he? Crab! With a big arm! Let's see, I think we can stun him by doing that, and then going around and attacking him like that. Not very difficult at all. Although if you try to attack him, he'll attack you, and then that's when you get hurt. Owie! Or if you try to pass him. You are okay. Oh, let's see. Nothing in this corner. Nothing in that corner. Ooh, bombs. Hmm. That'll be interesting. Okay, what we need to do is plant them right there, pull out this thing, and then come down here, position ourselves just so. Oh, I missed. Hang on. Whoops. Run with it, run with it, run with it. Toss it right there. Probably position ourselves right here. Oh, darn it! No, we need to do better than that. Okay, hold on. Toss it right there. Straight across. I almost had it. I swear I almost had it. No! Crap. Hmm, 
Ah! Yeah. Well, with that, this is Super Stud Brother. To be continued.